Taurus, welcome to With Up Tarot. I'm back with your monthly reading for December of 2019. I am on Instagram, so if you'd like to connect with me there, you can find me at With Love Tarot Official. So I'm going to be looking at your current energies, your future energies, and then taking two cards for advice. Beautiful. At the bottom of the deck for overall energies and theme, we have the lovers. So for some of you, you are either connecting with a soulmate or connecting with somebody that you feel is your soulmate. For some of you, this could indicate an important choice or decision that has to be made. For your current energies, we have the Page of Wands with the King of Swords, and Raja says hello. <laughs> now, this combination tells me that some of you are very communicative around this time period. You could even be wanting to give somebody a message or even just passionate messages with somebody back and forth is immediately the visual that's coming to mind here. Now, for some of you currently, guys, you are dealing with somebody with either fire or air in their chart, so a fire or air sign. And if that's not your story, you are taking on traits of the King of Swords here. As you can see, this person is no nonsense. So this person is really analytical, logical. This could be a doctor or lawyer or somebody in those fields. So currently, some of you are perhaps taking more of a logical or an objective uh, stance in a situation. This could be with a job or a school or even project. So we'll clarify in just a few moments to see what that's all about. For your future energies, we have death and magician. So guys, some of you out there are going to have an ending to something and be able to start something anew and have it be better than ever is the immediate message that's coming through here. Now, some of you... This could be an ending that already happened and perhaps it wasn't an easy one for you because with death that could sometimes indicate or signify a major transformative change. I sometimes think of it as a seasons card because usually there's an ending to, to every cycle. After fall and winter, we have spring and summer. So it's just the natural cycles of life coming to an end and then starting again. So what this tells me is that there's going to be some type of an ending to a cycle, whether this is a relationship or anything in general, whether that's a job or a project that's ended or even just a major positive change that you went through on a personal level and you're coming back better than ever from it. Whatever that change was, whatever that ending was, it was for your highest good. And you are going to have everything that you need. The magician has the wand, the sword, the pentacle, the cup. Not only that, but the infinity symbol crowning him, meaning your energy goes on and on and on. It does not die. So you're very powerful in this time period. So I'm going to take a few clarifiers here. Beautiful. Bottom of this deck, we have the Nine of Cups. Make a wish, guys. For many of you out there, whatever you're dealing with, this is a very happy time period for you or you're going to come into this. This is my wish fulfillment card. So whatever you're wanting to manifest into your life or whatever you're wishing on, this is a positive omen. So clarifying the Page of Wands and King of Swords, we have the Four of Swords. So again, if you're not dealing with somebody with air in their chart, for some of you out there, this is about coming out of a period of no communication, either with a person or just in general. Four of Swords is about taking a time out and recharging your batteries. So for some of you, 
you could have went within or taken a time out in a situation and you're ready to come out of that energy full speed ahead. With the Page of Wands and, and the King of Swords, these are both high, strong communication cards. For others of you out there, if that's not your storyline, what this is telling me is that perhaps you are taking a time out currently. Some of you could be taking a break in a situation from a connection, or we are in around the holidays, this could be some type of literal vacation that you're on and you're resting, which I like to see. A third message coming through is perhaps some of you laid down the law in a situation or with somebody. There, this could have been a very important conversation that took place and there's really there's a break in a connection could be a temporary break with somebody because maybe you felt like you needed to take it and clarifying the death with the magician we have three of swords so for many of you this does have to do with a relationship that perhaps came to an ending and caused you some heartbreak like I was describing the death card, that this might have not been an easy thing for you, especially with the Three of Swords here, if this was about a relationship, that it might have been very hard on you. Perhaps you had a difficult time letting go of this connection, right? Something came to an ending and made you very, very sad here. With the Magician, what this is telling me is that you are either out of that energy or you're actively working on getting out of that. And once you overcome that, you're going to come into this energy, which is very powerful. It's a very auspicious card. Now, for your advice, the two cards I took here, the first one we have is the Four of Swords. So what this is telling me, guys, is that some of you interesting because we have the four of swords here for your current energies so this is synchronicity some of you need to take a break okay now what's coming through here is you could be taking on a lot on your plate to the point where some of you might feel exhausted and what this is saying is now is the time to either put down some of those burdens or learn how to divvy up some of your tasks that you're dealing with, whether this is on a personal level or at work or just in general, learn how to give somebody else some of the burden, right? And if you can't do that, it just means to take a time out or a break. For others of you too, this is saying to get into some type of mindfulness activities or meditation, something that's gonna reset your emotional and spiritual levels and recharge your batteries. Now, the next card we have is the King of Cups. So very beautiful. What this is saying is be, open up your heart. Don't be afraid to be emotional or loving. Sometimes with the King of Cups, this can indicate somebody who is a little bit guarded or doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve. So it's not saying to go full out crazy and start, you know, just putting all your emotions out there. But what it is saying is don't be afraid to open up your emotions, uh, be a little bit loving, especially if some of you are looking for a new relationship or a new connection. Now I'm just going to take one more card on your future energies here to get the final message. So we have the Knight of Swords clarifying the Magician and the Three of Swords here. Now I like to see this because what this tells me is that you are going to go full speed ahead, right? You are going to leave what no longer served you behind you and you're moving forward is the immediate message that's coming through here. So perhaps for some of you after 
an ending came through, whether that was with a person or just in general, and you felt some type of heartache over it, you guys are going to move full speed ahead, right? You're leaving behind what no longer serves you, the negativity, and you're going forward, and you're going to have all the tools that you need to do so. Very beautiful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with love.